Hi everybody, I'm Stephen Hollis, Product Manager for Powermetrics. Today I'm going to show you how to configure your Powermaster 3 Series to work with the Powermetrics Remote Manager. This great new innovative tool enables you to operate your Powermaster 3 Series up to 100 feet away in any conditions whether it's a substation, within your truck, within a building, so that it allows you flexibility, protects you from the elements, and ensures greater safety when performing meter site tests. So let's get started. You've probably received your Power Master with your Bluetooth adapter. So the first thing we're gonna do is to check that the Bluetooth adapter is configured correctly. So you'll see some dip switches right here. And the first two should be to the left, and the second two should be to the right. If that's the case, then we are good to go, and it should be. Just to make sure, if you'd like to follow along, the quick start guide for this exact procedure is located on the Powermetrics website under support, under PRM, or Powermetrics Remote Manager. So the first thing I'm going to do is to take our Bluetooth adapter, and I'm going to insert it into one of the two USB ports on the back of your adapter. So I will plug that in and then turn our Power Master on. While that's booting, what I want to make sure that has been done and what I've done before this was to download and install the Powermetrics Remote Manager software on my Windows compatible laptop or tablet. And here I have a Microsoft Surface tablet. And that way you'll be good to go as soon as your Power Master is configured. So just as a preview of what we're going to do, is we're going to initiate pairing on our Bluetooth adapter. And this is the same type of pairing that you would do for any Bluetooth device. So nothing special there. And then we'll initiate the pairing function on our tablet. And then what's, once that's enabled, we will then um, show you, I will show you how to connect the Power Master to PRM. So now what we're going to do is to enable pairing mode. And to do that, we have to go to our Bluetooth adapter and get our trusty paper clip. And I would suggest that you would hold the bottom of the Bluetooth adapter so that it's a stable uh, connection. First thing we're going to do is put our, our paper clip into the paired button. You'll feel a click and hold it down for a couple seconds. You'll know that it's been reset because this light will now be solid. Then we're going to go into pairing mode. And once again, hold the bottom of the Bluetooth adapter. Put your paper clip in until you hear a click. And now we're in pairing mode indicated by the three flashes. At this point, we can now go into our Bluetooth configuration under settings. And once that comes up, we'll go to devices. We'll make sure that Bluetooth is turned on as it is here. And we're going to go to add a Bluetooth device. Once we're here, we'll select add a device under Bluetooth. And here we have the Bluetooth adapter has now come up into this Add Device menu. We can ensure that it is the correct one because the last five digits of this number are the same as that last five digits on this uh, adapter. From here, we will select it, and it's connecting. And now we have to enter the password for the Bluetooth adapter. Another level of security and the password is 1234. We will select connect and it will indicate once the Bluetooth adapter is paired and there it says that it's now paired. From this point we can now enable the PowerMaster 3 series to then operate in remote mode. So we're going to go to the PowerMaster main menu. We're going to select utilities we're going to select user preferences. We will wait for it to go into user preferences mode. From there, we will go to screen four once it enables us to do that by using the next screen key, function key along the bottom. So here we are in user preferences. 
We will hit F2 to go to the next page, which is page 2, F2 again to go to page 3, and then F2 again to go to page 4, where we see the remote mode selection box. We will then use our advanced key to tab down or button down to that remote menu selection. We will press our selector, say F6 to save. It's now saved and now we will reboot the Power Master. Once this comes back up, what we will see is a menu that says it's in remote mode. So we will wait for this to um, reboot and then once it reboots, we will run the Power Master Remote Manager software on our tablet and go through almost the exact steps that you would if you were operating the Power Master from the um, actual keyboard itself. The Power Master is going through its usual boot sequence. What you'll notice that will be different is the instead of having the selection menu, you'll now have the Power Master in remote mode. And it'll say that right on the screen. We are now in remote mode as indicated by the uh, screen. Now we can go ahead and start our Power Metrics remote management software. So I'm going to double click on that and you will see this come up. We're going to go first thing and first thing it always comes up with the orange button which means this is the first thing that you should do or can do and it will look for the analyzer. You know that this is the right analyzer because the number on the serial tag here is the same number that's here on your screen. So we select connect. It'll let you know that it's connected and you'll notice that now the rest of the selections are not gray but orange enabling these particular functions. So we're going to select the site the same that you would as if you're on the Power Master. We'll pick this site. It will now give you the ability to enter technician names as well as comments via the tablet. And it will start the test session to uh, as you would as if you were on the Power Master itself. We will select integrated site test as you would on the, on the unit. And now you're able to continue your testing remotely through PRM with your Power Master connected to the meter or the meter site. And you can then therefore continue as you would if you were standing in front of the unit remotely. I hope this has helped you from a configuration perspective. Um, if you have any questions, please go to the Power Metrics website or contact your sales representative. Thank you.